Hey, what is up everybody? Jamie here and it is update time. I'm up in Mount Hood, Oregon at the moment. I've got maybe about a week left on my, let me see if we get the light a little bit better. I've got maybe about a week left on my 14 days at this location and I'll be moving on to another place, but uh, I haven't gotten any videos out. I was working on CC's build video series and I stopped to work on my bus. I'm trying to get my bus done in increments and it's just, I'm almost done with this phase of it. I'll, I'll give you an update of what I'm doing here and what it's like to be living out here in a bus. If you're at home and you are wondering, well, what's it like to live the traveler lifestyle? You look at other YouTube videos of uh, folks that are living this way and you see the things that they're doing. Well, a kind of a life in the day or day in the life glimpse of uh, what it's like for me. So let's just go ahead and run through it. I, I couldn't sleep last night. Every once in a while, I'll run into a night where I just can't sleep. I didn't get to sleep till four o'clock in the morning. And so I slept in and now I've, uh, I woke up, looked at some uh, videos on YouTube, looked at my phone on social media, and I'm now making breakfast, which is like I would make it for lunch. It doesn't really matter the content, but it's bacon and eggs and some chai tea. So let me show you what I've been doing. And then I wanna show you this campground and kind of give you a feel of what it's like for me right now and what it might be like for you if you were to go, go ahead and live this way and at least do it the way I'm doing it this summer. So let's, let's get started. Starting with the outside. It is 93 degrees in the shade, 101 inside. I've got my bus parked in the trees. And so my thought process is if I'm parked in the trees, I can run, this is my old generator. I've got a new one a buddy helped me out with that I'm saving, but uh, I'm using this one right now. I'm running it for uh, maybe two or three hours a day. I plug it into my shore power. And when I plug it into my shore power, it charges this inverter, which I popped the other day and it only charges now, but that's okay, that's my fault. And this inverter on this side, so I plug it into shore power and it charges the inverters, which charges the battery banks. I've got two battery banks. I've got 680 watts on the roof. And you see right now I'm at 13.8 on my, the 13.9 with the light right there is how many amps I'm bringing in when the little light comes on, on this side. So what I'm doing is I'm parking in the shade to kind of mitigate the heat. I don't want to be out in the sun all day for my solar panels. I'm offsetting it by plugging the generator in for a couple hours and I'm working on these projects. Now let's run through what these projects are. Rick Brower was nice enough to build me this kitchen, but he didn't have time. He was so busy doing things, he didn't have time to do the uh, drawers. And so now I'm doing the drawers. And what I'm doing with these, I'll just run through it. I'm not a, a carpenter. There's probably a lot of ways to skin the cat. I'm probably gonna get a lot of compliment or uh, comments on how you could do it this way or that way. But what I'm doing is I'm building the drawer out. Like in this one, you can see I have, uh, you know, I've like made it into sections and, and uh, whatnot. But um, there's a little lip right here I put on. And then I'm gonna put a wood shim on the inside of it. Kind of like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue a wood shim right to the uh, drawer. And then I'm gonna affix a face plate on this. I think what I'm gonna do is cut a piece that's the whole length of this and then cut strips on it. That way I know it's gonna be uniform. But anyway, I've been making these drawers here. I've been making these drawers here. So you see, last video I was showing this stuff, this didn't have any polyurethane on it. I had to take this completely out. So now it's got uh, polyurethane on it. I've stained and polyurethane this. I got these hooks right here at the thrift store for I think $4 or $5. This chrome hook set. Looks like my chai tea is done. So I'm cooking some chai tea and my, my policy every day for what works for me is I make one pot of chai tea. The first cup I have is dirty. I put ice in it. It's iced coffee chai. And then after that I just drink the rest of the pot and then switch over to decaffeinated so that's all the caffeine I allow myself in a day and so right now I'm making my chai tea I'm making my bacon and eggs which I can turn this off that's good there's my bacon and eggs going getting back to the drawer here 
I got, I'm gonna put jeans back here, shorts up here. I'm usually wearing shorts more than uh, I'm wearing jeans, so I've made them easier access. This has to be sanded. I put some wood fill in, and so it's dry, and I gotta pull this out and sand it. Eventually, it's gonna look like this. And these, I gotta make one more of these. See it over there. I got, I started it last night and it got a little bit late and I didn't want to make noise with my saw with other campers, so I'm just gonna finish it today. This will all have face plates and handles, so this isn't the way it's gonna be when it's finished, but that's where it's at right now. And then I want to make a helmet holder that I mount right here. And I might do that today, depending on how the day goes. And then I'm gonna stop doing construction. You know, that it's not gonna be done, but I need to stop doing it and I need to get back to CC's solar build videos. There's some other things I need to do. I haven't heard from Caroline on the permit for the van build. So I need to make sure that she has everything she needs. Just some administrative stuff. I'd like to, you know, sit and just build this thing and uh, be that all I do, but I can't do that realistically. I got to hop on the bike running and get some supplies for town. Just other stuff comes up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish doing the the construction and then I'm gonna get on videos, but I don't have any shoes on. Let me, I'm gonna cut this, put some shoes on because I wanna show you where I'm at. I think you'll really like it. Okay, I'm back, got my shoes on. Here's my tools that I've been working with. And here's my shower system. Now let's go. Everything's just shoved forward to make room right now while I'm building. I don't like this. I'm going to do something with, with cleaning that up. There's a lot of room under the bed that I'm not using, but anyway, that's why that looks like that. The idea is that this looks organized when I'm done and everything have its place, but so here's my camp. There you go. I don't have a name for my bus. Sarah thinks I should call it chai because I drink so much chai tea, which she turned me on to, by the way. There's my water. One of my bikes, we'll get to a reveal on that at some point, very, very soon. And uh, my workstation, my workout station. I got my push-up bars inside. I was doing some push-ups inside earlier. Oh, and I put some peanut butter right here. Let's see if these guys got it. Yeah, they're getting into it. Good, there's these little chipmunks that like live right around here. And I'm not sure if Savannah is terrorizing them or if they like it that they can just go up a few feet and she can't do anything about it because they don't hide they just go up a few feet and it was like what up anyway so check this out you're gonna see some toilet paper people that come out and camp think that if they go to the bathroom in the woods they don't have to pick up their toilet paper so yeah, the people that come behind you see your toilet paper, so just throw it away. There's my PSA on that. Check this out. Are you kidding me? Look at this. It's like a paradise. Look at how big these leaves are. I can already see mosquitoes starting to land on me. So I'm not going to stay here long. But what's so cool about having a creek like this is I can come down with my shower system and I just take my uh, blender pitcher and fill it. I'm getting out of here before I start getting eat up. But I just fill it and uh, heat up the water and I can take a shower every day if I want. Typically I'll take a shower every four days and do you know, basic hygiene every day. But out here, I can spray myself with some off if I want, if the bugs are out and I wanna be outside working and then take a shower so it's super cool rarely do i get a nice creek to camp to camp at and so there's a couple of me just show you there's a couple of people camped over here and then there's a guy camped over here a ranger came and talked to me a couple of days ago i think he was just trying to do a sweep and let people know that there was no campfires permitted and maybe he was marking me down for my time, I don't know. But he was a nice guy, asking where I could go next, and he gave me some ideas that I wouldn't have known otherwise. You know, the thing about uh, park rangers and I is we're really not that different. The, uh, let me see if I can set this here. They chose their field because, it's not gonna work, they love being out in nature. 
I chose doing this because I like to be out in nature, so we're really not that different. And I was talking to him about that, and he just said, yeah, but I really envy your freedom. So, you know, everything has its trade-offs. But anyway, that's what's up with me. This is my camp. This is what a day in the life with me is like. I'm going to probably finish this drawer, maybe make the helmet hanger over here. And even though I need to shellac a lock it and stain it and all that jazz, I'm going to go ahead and put a, put a uh, bookmark in this project and work on some other things. Liz, thank you so much for working on my drapes. So I got, uh, Liz came forward, a lot of guys came, people came forward and I really appreciate that. Liz is working on them now. And uh, once I get them and, and figure out how to put the snaps in place and everything, I will show you. This is the before picture right now. Just kind of threw some reflectics in there with some cloths on wire. There's a sheet right there. Stuff goes here too, but it's just so nice. I got to have the windows open. I like to wake up and see everything. So anyway, that, with that, I will see you guys uh, on the next upload. Hope you're having a good summer, doing fun things. I will see you soon. Adios.